Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle, for those of you who are brand new around here. And recently, my family and I just purchased an old farmhouse. It was built in 1800. It is so beautiful. We are loving kind of renovating it, putting our own little spin on it, doing little bits and bobs to bring it up to its beautiful glory. And if you've missed any of my previous videos, I will have them linked below showing you a little bit of our journey. Currently, I am in our living room. And today we are going to take some time to unpack my china hutch. I'm going to show you how I decorate my china hutch and kind of try to do something a little bit fun, a little bit new. I haven't really done anything specifically with my china hutch ever on this channel. So I'm excited, A, to get some of these boxes unpacked and B, to get this all set up. The living room is interesting. It's a really big space. I am going to have a sort of painting and decorating my living room video. I don't know if that's gonna be before this video or after this video, but it's definitely coming up super duper soon. But the living room has two different sections to it. So we kind of have on the section behind you, our couch and our ottoman and our TV. And then there's this whole other section on the other side of the room that I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with it. We don't have a formal dining room in this space. So we're sort of making a mini formal dining room in this area of the room. So again, I don't know if my other video is going to be up or not, but I'll have it linked below. If not, if not, definitely subscribe because that's going to be coming out super duper soon. I can't wait to show you guys what the living room is looking like. You can kind of see we already started painting and it looks super lovely in here. I really love it. So without further ado and the longest intro ever, let's get into today's video and start decorating my beautiful china hutch. So starting out, I pulled out all of the items that I had already boxed up and put them on my little shelf portion. The reason why I actually grabbed this china hutch in particular is because it was a buffet on the bottom, china hutch on the top, and I was really looking for something that kind of was multifunctional at the time, and I got this off of Facebook Marketplace for free. I've said that several times on my channel, but I love it. And in the back of the china hutch, there's actually a plate rail, which is kind of perfect for decorating the entire hutch with some lovely plates. I enjoy to put some of these plates on my china hutch like in the back to kind of give some dimension upwards. That is what a plate rail is for. It really gives you some beautiful height. So I do it just one sort of across and sort of make this sort of diagonal look. It's not a perfect diagonal because in the middle you can't put it in the middle. But I have the blue kind of anchoring on both sides of the china hutch and then the white in the middle. And my design scape for this entire look is to have both white, glass, and a little bit of color. And my colors are dark blue and like a really nice deep pink color. Not incredibly girly pink, but just a little touch of pink. And I do so with two different tea sets. The first one that I have here is a, I believe it's a Chinese tea set. We got it from our favorite garden called Longwood Gardens a long time ago. My husband bought me that set and it's absolutely beautiful. And then I have a lot of Ray Dunn. Now here's the thing. Ray Dunn is not specifically my style anymore. I don't particularly love Ray Dunn, but it is really nice to have that white neutral look. So until I find something a little bit better, that still gives me that same neutral look that kind of blends everything together. I'm using the Ray Dunn for now. Like I had mentioned earlier, this is sort of me unpacking what I had previously had in my china hutch and decorating it really nicely around the space. But I do want to come back and do more of a fall look in a few weeks or maybe even a Christmas, Christmas look, we will see. So what I decided to do was actually move the cheese board from the bottom row up to the top row because I didn't want to have the two tea sets directly next to each other. I didn't think it would spread the color very nicely. So I decided to move that upwards as a backdrop for this gorgeous tea set that I got for my wedding shower. Uh, oh my goodness, over 11 years ago now. So I really love this entire set. It's so gorgeous. And then I did just a simple neutral Ray Dunn set underneath of that and really made it look 
beautiful. And then I tied in the blue with this gorgeous blue teacup that I've had for the longest time. And I used some height in the background by grabbing our toasting glasses from our wedding. I love to use glass as something that fills in the space but doesn't make the space look too heavy. So as you saw a few clips back, I threw in some wine glasses. I love to put in some of my favorite Lenox China wine glasses and that really elevates the space. It elongates it. You can see how beautiful it is going upwards but it's not making the space super duper heavy with more ceramic items specifically. So you get that height, that look, that sort of silhouette, but it is a very light silhouette by using the glasses. So I have some red wine glasses here and I love how they all kind of play off of each other and give this very delicate both neutral but with a splash of color look. Now going into the last section of my china hutch, I am once again using the same sort of palette of just this blue ironstone transferware plate that I absolutely love. It is so gorgeous. And some of my favorite wine glasses, these wine glasses were actually my parents when I was younger and they just remind me of them. I think it is gorgeous. And then this wine glass in particular was hand painted. I got it in Florida several years ago. And I feel like it brings that color to the last section of my china hutch over here without again adding too much of a heavy dense look because it is still on glass. And it ties in beautifully with the florals from the tea sets. I'm rounding it out with just a couple more bowls and mugs from Ray Dunn. Again, I do want to elevate this look to something a little bit different in the future, but for now, like I said, I am unpacking everything and making it look as cozy and put together as possible. I'd really like to know in the comments below, what are your favorite things to decorate with in a china hutch? Do you use more tea items? Do you use more dishware, glassware? What do you like to put into your china hutch? Because I'm always looking for some new thoughts and ideas on how to do things. So moving to the bottom section of my china hutch, which is the buffet, I wanted to add a couple of fun pieces for this. I, technically, it's still the end of summer. I know everybody's straight up into their fall mode, but I need to still find my fall decor box. That's why I haven't really started some fall decorating quite yet, but we are getting unpacked and getting everything put together nicely. So I used a gorgeous cake stand that was my mom's when I was younger, and then these beautiful pie plates that my grandma gave me last Christmas for a gift. There's a large pie plate and then individual pie plates that I thought were so cute with this lovely napkin. I really like the green. It looks lovely in this space and it highlights the china hutch without adding too, too much to it. And then I wanted to throw in my favorite rattan basket that I had gotten thrifted. This basket has been all over my house. It's been upstairs in my bedroom. It's been on my dining table. It's been on our credit a table it's literally been everywhere I love the shape of it I love how it's organized it just is such a gorgeous basket the color is mwah, perfection gorgeous I love it and then I wanted to finish this off with a little bit of lace and some green books to tie in that green the last thing that I'm adding to the china hutch behind the pie plates is an antique candle lamp that I had gotten actually when I was a really little kid. I think I got this when I was maybe 11 or 12 and I love the design on it. The print is beautiful. I believe my grandma also gave that to me as well.
And then the very last thing that I wanted to throw up on the china hutch was just a little bit of green and this gorgeous pot was done by my mom. She's really into mosaics right now. So she put together this beautiful mosaic for me and I put a bunch of pothos leaves in it that I am propagating to add some more green and color to my space. And I love how the entire piece looks. It's very elegant yet not super overdone with crazy expensive china. I think it looks beautiful and it's making this side of the room come together so lovely. So let me know in the comments below what, what your name is, where you're from. I love getting to know all of my subscribers. Subscribe if you are brand new. Give this video a thumbs up if you love decorating as much as I do. And I will see you next week in a brand new video. I can't wait to talk to you then, my friends. Have an amazing week. Bye.